What is happening guys? Welcome back to Redbeard's Garage and we're back on the F-150 build video. On the last video you've seen us install brand new headlights, third brake light and tail lights from Fast Mods. Truck looks awesome because those old headlights was dying and looking pretty janky. So it's awesome to have a fresh new set from Fast Mods. So today we're going to be installing this tube Baja style bumper. This has a 50 inch curved light bar in it and uh, looks amazing. I've been eyeballing this bumper for a while now and uh, we got this one uh, from Fast Mods. So Fast Mods is a company uh, a lot like eBay and Amazon, but they basically have everything on one site. You're not buying from multiple sellers. They're going to uphold warranties because they have a reputation to stand behind. So a lot better and safer way to shop for your vehicle. So make sure to check them out in the video description. Every part we're used that we have used and are going to use is linked down there. So pretty exciting to be able to do this build with them. An awesome company, and they're somewhat local. They're in North Carolina. So great people, and hopefully we'll be going up to their facility later. So what we need to do is pull the F-150 in. Bumper is super easy to pull off. You'd think it'd be more in depth, but it's not it's super quick. You can install this bumper in about an hour to two hours, depending on if you have help. Uh, so we'll pull it in, we'll pull off that old bumper, we'll install this new bumper, and see what it looks like. Pretty excited, because this is a big upgrade for the old chrome bumper F-150. So the older styles of these bumpers was a single you know full bumper but i think to cut back on shipping costs they made it a three piece so these wings here uh, do not come bolted up to the bumper when you get it out of the box i'm thinking that's just cutting down on the size of the shipping box so it does come with all the included uh, hardware so you have two large bolts one here and you can see that one down there that you install to bolt these wings up and just get them aligned and it has a piece of foam to go in between these two and then I also, I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to do, but I went ahead and did some secondary smaller bolts right there. These all was in the kit. So it looks like we're just gonna bolt this up to the original bulkhead on the end of the chassis. And then we have um, the skid plate will bolt up on a cross member under the engine. The light bar is also already installed. It's just loosely in there. Uh, so you will have to adjust it at the angle you want and tighten it down. First off, we need to unplug both fog lights. Next, use an 8mm and a 10mm socket to remove the hood latch and latch support. There are two 22mm nuts on each side of the frame ends that bolt the bumper onto the truck. Remove the lower valance and studs from the frame. Unbolt the two toe rings on each side. We'll have to cut the bumper mounts on the truck to clear this tube on the new bumper. So I went ahead and bolted up these towing hooks and left the front bolt out. There's two bolts on there and a little T-bar that goes inside the frame here. So what I'm going to use this for is a shelf to set that bumper because I am by myself uh, doing this. So I want to use these tow hooks as a shelf and I'm going to reinstall these tow hooks, which I'll show you guys that. And I'm going to get these powder coated red to match my logo on my grill uh, after the fact. So now I think I can go ahead and test fit. Make sure the bumper's all good and should be able to start bolting it all up. So to hold my bolts in my bumper, since again, I'm by myself doing this, I'm gonna take an O-ring. My buddy had a good idea to slide an O-ring on this bolt after putting it through 
the front bulkheads to hold my bolt from falling out. I'm gonna install this and I'll show you what it looks like. So there we have that O-ring installed. And it's just gonna keep this from falling out. It can still move side to side and everything. So that was a pretty smart idea. So with how the frame is tapered, you're gonna to have to cut a section of this bottom side. This is the bumper flipped upside down. So what I'm gonna do is cut off one inch deep and then just cut it right here at the edge. The factory frame has a tapered shape to it and this runs into it and to get this seated all the way against that plate, that's what you're gonna to have to do. So you gotta cut both sides. Um, I mean, you can install it like this, but I want it sank in as much as possible to make it as clean as possible. So we're gonna use these factory clips to bolt the new one in. And that's gonna protect this, uh, I guess that's electric power steering. There we go, it slid all the way in there that time. It must have been caught on something. So we still have a little bit to do, but we also need to make sure we get it side to side right by looking at the fender line. Now we need to see how it lines up because this didn't come with instructions. So we got to figure out how this set up the bottom skid plate lines up. Because now if we get back and look, we got a full skid plate that goes under the truck. I think it looks really nice though. It gave it so much height in the front end. Oh yeah. So now we can climb up under there with a 13 mil and see how that bottom lines up because it did come with some extra little brackets that I'm not sure where they go. So these little offset brackets are used some way for this. So you have these little clips and if you can see this bulkhead here is indented. The original skid plate bolted up on this. You're going to remove these little clips right here by pushing up. There's a ring that sets that holds it in the hole and you're gonna relocate it right here beside the lower control arm uh, link. So if we pop this in right here, just like that, now we have a bolt hole for this one. And those little pieces I was telling you about will set right here and it extends this piece. Why wow, they didn't weld this on, your boy don't know but you'll use the factory bolts that you pulled out of this instead of having four it'll have the two and this will push up and line up and bolt up but we got to first move the other one over if you can see this silver that's where it's at like i said it has that little locking ring on the bottom side here we're going to bend it out and if you was to happen to break these the four dealership normally or body shops have these clips and they'll slide right out of the frame Put it in right schmear. You can hear that snap. Just gotta make sure it's centered. There it goes. So now I can feel around like a blind man. <laughs> Get these bolts right here, which was the 13s. Pick up the bracket I just dropped. Actually, I'm wide. It flips around so it hooks on the side there. And does what us country boys call sandwiches it. And we're just loosen, like loosely putting all these on because we don't know if our bumper is side to side correct yet. So before we tighten these down, we're going to go back to the front, move our bumper to where it needs to go, tighten up the front bumper mounts first, then we'll draw the rear up with these. So that's really good. Now we can take 
our impact and hammer on. Now we can go underneath, tighten those last two holding the skid plate up, and then we can show you how to wire up the light bar. And then we're just going to take this, which is just a hot in the ground. We're going to cut the factory plug off of our actual fog lights because we had some aftermarket ones that was half dead anyways and we're going to tie this in to a factory plug then we can zip tie this up here out of the way and this does have some extra brackets right here so you can add accessories to this so if you want to add some light bars hanging down or something they did give places to do that but all in all i really like this you do have to modify a few things you do have to cut this off and that's why this frame hangs down right here and it collides with it uh, it's a it's something they need to fix at the factory but again that ain't fast mods fault fault uh i will let the dv8 people know that makes this bumper that needs cut and then we also had to cut the sections of our frame off right here so you have these little allen heads and what this is going to do is we're going to set this under there use our washers and our nut Get that lined up. Same thing over here. And this is going to be adjusted to your preference. Uh, it's the hood latch mount. Mm. So we're going to take that clip off and install it in that piece. Again, we're working with, they're in the process of making the instructions for this model. All the other models come with full instructions. Lucky me. Lucky you guys, you got red beard. Yeah, and lucky me, I didn't have the instructions. So you can see our hole is just a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is file that out, make the hole wider that way so we can bolt that in. Then we just tighten up these two bolts. Once we get that where we want it for reaching in, I would imagine all the way forward would be the most comfortable, like right there, because your hand needs to reach in between the grill and hit that. So we'll get it adjusted and get this bolted on. So we use a Dremel, opened up that hole, and I'm gonna, I've already tested this. This is best all the way forward. So there we go. Make sure this latch is good. Get up to the comfortable position. Looks like you're ready to run over some stuff looks really nice mm -hmm. the only thing we have left to do is i got to zip tie this fog light bracket or a uh, harness up onto the chassis so it's not in the way and then we can tie in the power to this side and then we'll have light bar that's on with our fog lights a few moments later so that was the bumper install there was a few little things we had to modify but i kind of knew this going into it because before i install anything what do you do you go on youtube and look up videos and there was two very crude videos of this but they showed having to cut those things um but pretty straightforward process if you have two people you don't have to but it's very handy if you do uh just installing it removing everything is no problem with one person but i think it looks awesome i do think in the future uh, and i'll do it on video i'm going to cap this off with eighth inch thick steel which means we'll have to re-powder coat this but uh that's fine because i'm going to end up welding these two pieces as one when i do that as well and put that plate and that plate will go flat straight back under that and make it look a lot better but all in all i think it's a super nice bumper we was able to reuse our tow hooks um, and we tied in that light bar just to this passenger side fog light by cutting the pigtail off our old fog light and just soldering on red to red black to black so let me know what you think about this build we got an another video coming up very soon on this where we're putting a 90 millimeter throttle body and a mishimoto um catch kit we're also going to do a little bit of maintenance like spark plugs and cleaning the air filter and see if we can tell a difference with 10 millimeters more of throttle body so uh, let us know what you think make sure to check out fast mods there are links down below great company we're excited about the things we're going to do to this old ford and uh, make it even better for towing and putting the foot to the floor so thank you guys for watching we love you and god bless